some reactions take place in multiple steps. This is a three-step reaction, but you can see that no one step is any faster or slower than any other. The activation energy for each stage is the same. But in this reaction, the third step has a high activation energy, represented by the smaller funnel. Now this is going to slow down the reaction. This is known as the rate determining step. The speed of the other two steps is irrelevant when it comes to working out the speed of the reaction. It's the rate determining step speed that, as the name says, tells you how fast a reaction will go. It can't pour any faster because it will overflow the funnel and ruin the experiment. And it doesn't actually matter which of the steps is the rate determining step. It's not the first step, it's not the middle step, it's not the last step. It's whichever step has the greatest activation energy. That means you need proportionally more energy to get over the step, so it's less likely to happen, and that's going to determine the rate of the reaction. I wish I'd done a faster one now. Alrighty.